first what the fuck is it called first first start no what how i just had a brain fart i i just i just had a brain fart what the hell is it called what how do i not know <laughs> Today, we're talking about a game that features space exploration, planets to explore, and life forms to conquer, ships to be crafted. No, we're not talking about Starfield. I really wish I did kind of have Starfield, but we're talking about another great space exploration game. Couldn't say that a couple years ago, but as of right now, in 2023, this game is really great. We're talking about No Man's Sky, a game that launched in 2016 to not so savory reviews. I, listen, did they promise a fully fleshed out game, but did they really deliver a broken, empty mess that was crashing PlayStation 4s, were killing systems, were just could not be run on some of the most latest hardware? Was this game so empty that their, the story literally ended halfway through? Who am I to say? I didn't play it. I did buy it though on day one. And instead of, oh, thank you. I did buy it on day one. And I saw, I tried to run it, couldn't run it. So I decided, you know what? Instead of, falling in with the masses that were mass returning this game and all the lawsuits that were flying around, I decided to shelf it and come back to it. And oh my God, Hello Games, you guys, you guys are doing the most for a game that you honestly could have just thrown away and just completely forgotten about it and moved on to the next buggy, nonsensical project. Hey, damn! But you guys have stuck to it and have been coming out with update after update after update after update. And we are in like, what, our sixth update at this point? And there is so much to do. New storylines, multiplayer, new crafting uh, things to do, vehicles to ride on planets, new structures on planets. There's just so much to do. And well, I had to play it. And oh my God. For a game that has limitless, well, 8 billion plan- well, not 8 billion, 8 quintillion planets, my bad, <laughs> my bad, 8 quintillion planets, a game that you will never fully explore, this game kind of makes you want to explore it all, and it, it, it's kind it's kind of weird, because there's just so much to do, they just keep throwing things at you from the minute you land on your first planet to crafting your well repairing your first ship repairing your own exoskeleton well exosuit and just exploring your your first home planet hopefully you get a good home planet and not one that's just actively trying to kill you because we'll get into that in a second you take off in your spaceship seamlessly flying between no load screens i have not experienced one load screen yet yes there were micro stutters for obviously rendering and moving from one area to the next, but it was virtually zero load screens from planet to space to flying into a cargo ship that was porting in to your solar system to pirates coming out of nowhere to landing on your first, um, first, what the fuck is it called? First, first star? No. What? How? I just had a brain fart. I, I just I just had a brain fart. What the hell is it called? What? How do I not know? <laughs> no Man's Sky ships. So this game just has a lot. The story, it's there's a couple of story paths. For each expansion update, there was a new layer of story that was added. So for the for your building your first habitat, like your first home on your planet, there's a storyline for that one where you recruit architects, you 
learn more about anomalies and fixing up your settlement, well, fixing up your home. There's even the main storyline with Artemis where you are traversing the galaxy trying to find out where this person is, bringing them back into your star system. You're, you're kind of just exploring the galaxy and staying away from like the warring factions and making new friends with the factions themselves. It's, there's just a lot going on with the story. And I guess it's just one cohesive narrative that's just going on. And I wouldn't say care so much about the storylines. This is my crafting. Yeah, the crafting in this game is really good. Being able to basically mine out a whole planet, though the game will not allow you to do that because the Sentinels, the protectors of the galaxy, are basically like the GTA 5 cops where they'll come in, they'll swoop in, and they'll try and hunt you down for <laughs> the time limit up to four stars, and then they start sending spaceships at you to like shoot you at the sky. So they're GTA cops where they they will do everything in their power to end your existence. So this game isn't difficult. There's a lot to do. It's not combat. There is a lot of combat if you're looking for that. Like you can raid settlements and destroy cargo ships and hunt down pirates and do and just be a general nuisance, I guess. But that's not the whole point of the game. The point of the game is to be an explorer. You're not in any one faction. You are you do have the anomaly where you can meet up and join other players. That's the other thing. This game has a massive multiplayer element to it, where the game itself is always online. So that means that you can meet other players in this game. That being said, there are eight quintillion planets. It would literally take you from now until the heat death of the universe for you to fully explore every single part of this game. That means that you're not going to meet everyone in this game. <laughs> there are just some people that you're never going to meet. And sometimes when you do meet them, it feels like such an eye-opening experience of just like, damn, we're both experiencing this at the same time until, you know, they decide to shoot you out of the sky and then, and then you're having a dogfight. Combat. The combat that we're talking about... There was one thing that really annoyed the hell out of me, and that was the dogfighting. When you're fighting other spaceships in space, you are essentially... The AI basically has hacks. <laughs> they are able to do pinpoint turns. They are moving at the speed of sound. You are basically at the mercy of the AI. And... I thought maybe it was because I was bad, but no, that's because the, the auto detection for your ship sucks if you're holding it down. I learned that you had to go into your settings and turn it from um, single press to toggle so that it stays auto locked and then it makes the fighting super easy. I don't understand why it's like this. It just is. I like this game. Is it a great game? I wouldn't say so. It's not a. It's not something that will blow you out the water, but it's a good game. This game also features VR, so if you're into that and have like a, um, like a VR setup for your PC, you can do that as well. This game is mainly enjoyable from what I experienced on the PC. I I just liked it like that, um, and yeah. This game is really good. It's not a masterpiece. It's come a long way with the different updates. Yeah, it's and remember, everything is free multiplayer. Well, if you're playing on PS4, you're gonna have to pay for um for PlayStation Plus. But when you if you're playing on PC, everything is essentially free. It's free real estate. You don't have to pay to partake in the weekly rewards. You don't have to pay to gain any of the skins. You don't have to pay to gain new ships and car and items. Nothing in this game needs to be paid for. And that's that's what I really, really like. This feeling of freedom in this game. Along with everything else, this game can be played on basically every platform, including VR.
including VR. If you have a really decent gaming rig or if you're playing on PlayStation 5 and you have the VR setup, you can play this in VR and that's a whole other layer of enjoyability with this game. Hello Games, you guys, you've done a lot for the past, I mean, you guys have, have had time and I don't feel like I should be giving you any props because of how this game was launched. Sean Murray, you are a liar <laughs> and I despise you, Jesus Christ. But the wait, the wait was worth it. And yeah, that's it. I play this game on PC. I'm running a Ryzen 7 with a GTX 1660 with 16 gigs of RAM. So, and it runs perfectly fine for me. Full 60 FPS on medium settings. I can't really do high. If I do high, it gets kind of like a little bit laggy. But medium settings, everything runs smoothly. I like it. And that's it for me. If you like today's video, leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment to let me know what other game i should play and if you've played no man's sky what was your favorite thing to do um so far in this game and how are you enjoying it and would you recommend this game to other people and that's it for me thank you guys love you bye